Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and I'm your host, John. This is number four in a series on electrical test prep. So let's get started. Let's get started with cooking unit countermounted. It's a cooktop without the oven part, and it is hardwired to an electrical box. Next is dead front. Dead front is a covering secondary to a panel door or disconnect cover that is made of metal and protects live conductors while still allowing access to a switching device or circuit breaker or breakers. Device. What's a device? It's a switch, a dimmer, a photocell, motion sensor, or anything else that controls electric flow as its primary use. Electric power production and distribution network. Well, that's a mouthful. I can describe it in just three simple words. Off the grid. Really, it would be a generator or something to that effect that provides power separate from that produced by the power company. Here's an important one, exposed. This definition can be summed up in two words, code violation. Exposed wire is wire that is exposed to unqualified persons in such a way as to pose a hazard to human health or safety. Now here's two terms that you have to get straight for the test because you can confuse the two and you'll miss the answer. And that's grounded conductor and grounding conductor. First, a grounded conductor is a UFER. You can see a diagram of this in video number 151 in my how to series. This type of grounded conductor is good for 400 amps and less. Do not confuse this with a grounding conductor. So, we have a grounding conductor. This is a conductor that connects the grounded conductor to a metallic equipment that does not conduct power. This might be a main panel, a sub panel, or other large piece of equipment that code requires to be independently grounded. Now here's one, in sight or within sight. That means that whatever you're working on, and it's usually a disconnect for either a hot tub, an air conditioner, or some other piece of 240 volt equipment. This is uh, kind of a gray area sometimes. Now technically it means that a disconnect breaker or switch or other device must be in plain sight and no further than 50 feet away, no closer than 5 feet away if it's a hot tub or if it's an air conditioning unit it can be within 2 feet. But if it's a hot tub it's got to be at least 5 feet away. It is intended for safely servicing equipment while being able to visibly verify that no one is screwing around with the power supply. So let's go to the board and see an exception. The exception would be that your disconnect is still within 50 feet, okay, 50 feet or less, and it says it has to be seen, be legal. But the exception would be you have windows up here, there's no place to mount a disconnect effectively, and you have a doorway here for entrance to the hot tub, and you've got power coming down here, and this is only a little two foot section. So basically, there's no way to get to this disconnect without the person servicing the equipment seeing that somebody is going over there. So it's in basically the spirit of the law of compliance. It's not accessible by anybody without being seen. So it really more or less is within line of sight because there's no access to it. Now if there was a door here that would not be acceptable because you might be working on this and somebody could sneak around there and turn it on. It's unlikely. Stuff like that does happen though. Isolated, okay, as applied to location. That means not easy to access unless special means are used. An example of this would be a junction box in the attic. It would require the use of a ladder, a flashlight, and a helper agile enough to work in a circus in order to access. So isolated means it's just really hard to get to. And we're going to finish this up in the L section with lighting outlet. I picked this one out because it shows that not all outlets are receptacles, but all receptacles are outlets. A lighting outlet, as defined by the code book, is a mounted box that is to be used to permanently attach a lighting fixture, not a plug-in light. So a lighting outlet is basically a box with wire in it that's specifically intended to be used for a lighting fixture. That wraps up this episode. 
That leaves us with two more videos on definition, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day.